Let's go through the metric unit conversion for volume and capacity. And just as a quick reminder, volume is the space that a three-dimensional object takes up. And think of capacity as, I guess, the amount of uh, material that that solid uh, could, could contain or make or could hold. So the three main units of, of volume that we'll, that we'll look at are, are the cubic millimeter, so mm uh, to the three. So think of the, that three meaning three dimensional. The cubic centimeter, so cm with a three, and the cubic meter, um, so that's meters cubed. So again, how do we define a cubic millimeter? One cubic millimeter is a cube that's one millimeter times one millimeter times one millimeter. All right, it's pretty small. So if you take a millimeter ruler, uh, one millimeter is just one of these, um, one of these, uh, the space between two of these small markings, like okay, other minor markings there, and that'll be the edge of edge of this cube. So it'll be a very very small, um, very very small cube, so about the size of a of a grain of sugar uh, or thereabouts. Cubic centimeter. So a cubic centimeter again is a cube that's one centimeter uh, by one centimeter by one centimeter. Uh, if you convert that into millimeters. Um, it's the same as you know, converting one centimeter into millimeters. It's 10 millimeters times 10 uh, millimeters times 10 millimeters, and that gives you a thousand um, cubic millimeters. Okay, so one cubic centimeter is the same as or equivalent to a thousand cubic millimeters. Then we have the cubic meter, and that's defined as one a cube that's one meter times one meter times one meter, which is 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters, uh, which is a million cubic uh, centimeters. Right. So just moving on, there is one more unit that uh, I'll introduce now, uh, and it's it is a metric unit of measure. So there's no no reason why we can't uh, cover this one, which is the cubic kilometer. Now you think, well, what would you measure in cubic kilometers? That's a big cube, right? That's a, that's that's one kilometer times one kilometer times one kilometer. So. Uh, in fact, when you're measuring the, the, the volume of the oceans, for example, the, 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 you'd be looking at cubic kilometers. Um, the, the, there's that much of it there. You wouldn't be measuring it in liters or megaliters or even gigaliters for that matter. Um, there's just so much of it. So cubic kilometers uh, are used to measure the volume of, uh, for example, even of um, planets, um, you know, or, or, or you know, any other large object. Okay, so one cubic kilometer is again a cube that's one kilometer times one kilometer times one kilometer, which is a thousand meters times a thousand meters times a thousand meters, which is one billion cubic meters. Okay, so that's um, quite a lot. <laughs> so we're starting to get to the point now where we may have to start using scientific notation. So uh, in scientific notation, that would just be 10 to the power of nine um, cubic meters. Now, we talk about capacity, and I've mentioned capacity is, is, is related to volume in the sense that uh, capacity talks about what a, an object can contain, a three-dimensional object can contain, not the object itself, um, how much space the object itself takes up. That's what we consider volume. So they're equivalent, but at the same time, they're used in different contexts. So this is why we've got, got to be sort of careful, um, the, the kind of units that we use. So one cubic centimeter though is equivalent to one milliliter. Okay, so th this one's probably the the the, the one conversion that uh, enables us to convert between these units of volume and units of, of capacity. We also have the uh, the cubic meter. Um, uh, the one cubic meter is equivalent to one kiloliter or to a thousand liters. Okay, so again, two very useful. Uh, conversions um, between units of volume and units of capacity and then from there we can uh, continue c converting between uh, units of capacity or units of volume not between the two if you just want to have a quick look um, a, a quick I guess um, uh, conversion flowchart um, cubic kilometer we multiply that by a thousand to the power of three thousand times a thousand times a thousand so where this comes from there and that converts it into cubic meters, cubic meters to cubic centimeters. There's a hundred centimeters in a meter. That's the edge of a cube, or when it's three dimensional. So we're multiplying it by a hundred to the power of three uh, to convert from cubic meters to cubic centimeters, uh, cubic centimeters, and cubic centimeters to cubic millimeters. We multiply by ten to the power of three. Why? Because there are ten millimeters in a centimeter, and we're talking about a cube. Okay, so all right, so. A cube will be you know, 10 times 10 times 10 if we're converting between cubic centimeters and cubic millimeters. Now in blue, it's obviously going from the small units um, back to the larger units. 
So dividing by 10 to the power of 3 converts cubic millimetres to cubic centimetres, cubic centimetres to cubic metres, dividing by 100 cubed, and then obviously um, cubic um, metres to cubic kilometres, dividing by 1,000 cubed. Okay. Let's have a look at some examples now of uh, conversions. So I'll just move this board out of the way and well, we'll have a look at these. And it'd be well worth noting some of these down. Okay, again, conversions are one of those interesting calculations that, um, just from experience, a, a lot of uh, a lot of students struggle with for for some reason. I think it's, you know, I'm, I'm not sure why at the moment, but it just seems to be one of those things that that you know, tends to be something that uh, that is a little tricky. But they're actually not that tricky, really. I mean, it's uh, a lot of the units we're already familiar with and. Uh, where we're really just t taking advantage of what we already know. I mean, I mean, but, uh, using centimeters and millimeters is, is, a, is a common everyday thing. So, uh, we try try and use what you know, okay, and and build on that a little bit, and then you'll find that these will actually be quite easy, okay, well, very straightforward. Let's have a look at the first one. Convert 135 cubic meters to cubic centimeters, okay. Converting these. Think of it in terms of length first, or the edge length of the cube. So if we were to draw a cube, uh, I might just draw another cube here, okay. We're only interested just in the edge of the cube. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, now we're going from a large unit to a smaller unit. We know there's 100 centimetres in a metre. So it'll be 135. Uh, now we're going to multiply it by 100, but because we're dealing with volume, it'll be 100 cubed. Okay, so that's actually six zeros. So that's going to be one, three, five with six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six cubic centimeters. Okay. Incidentally, how many milliliters would that be? Well, that would be the same number of milliliters. Um, we can convert that into liters and into into kiloliters as well. We'll we'll do that later on. Let's have a look at part B. Okay. One hundred and twenty thousand cubic millimeters to um, cubic meters. So again, now we're converting a small unit into a larger unit. There's a thousand millimeters in a meter. So we'll start off by writing the, the, uh, the actual measurement, uh, the volume, 120, um, I think I've got one too many zeros there. Oh, okay, 120,000. What we're gonna do, we're gonna divide this by, well, how many millimeters in a, in a meter? We've got a thousand, okay. But because we're dealing with volume, we're going to um, take the cube of that thousand. I'm going to divide by that. Now we're starting to talk a few zeros here, so feel free to use the calculator. Divide that by one thousand to the power of three, okay, and we get zero point zero 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 one two point zero 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 one two cubic meters, okay. Seems like a reasonable result. Um, part C, 75 litres to cubic, to cubic centimetres. Okay, now there's maybe a, a couple of ways you can think of this. Uh, there's a few more, probably more than, more than two ways perhaps. Uh, um, if you can find another way to do this, that's fine. But I know that one milliliter is one cubic centimetre. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll use that, that very handy fact so what we'll do is that we'll convert the liters into milliliters first. So 75 liters, okay, we're gonna multiply that by a thousand and that gives us 75,000 milliliters. Now we know that one milliliter right, is equivalent to one cubic centimeter. So therefore, 75 liters really is just 75,000 cubic centimeters. Sometimes, and, and I've seen this on, on, um, on bottles, for example, so uh, some, some bottles of perfume um, might have this. Um, they might actually write it as 75, for example, not that this is a very big perfume bottle, uh, CC. Uh, we don't use that one. That just means cubic centimeters. Okay? We don't use this um, here at least, but it, I have seen this around. So it's just the same as CM to the three. Let's have a look at part D. Uh, 15,500 uh, cubic centimetres to, to litres. It's just really the same thing, but just the other way around, isn't it? So what we could do 
is it's and this is why it's very convenient when it's in cubic centimeters I can just replace it with millimeters directly okay and then we're going to divide that by a thousand okay so one two three so that's going to be equal to 15.5 liters okay a couple more examples and these are using some quite large units now so 5,320 cubic meters to megalitres, and a capital M, megalitres. We also have 788 cubic kilometres to gigalitres. Right? So we might be dealing with some fairly large numbers here. So let's see how we can tackle this one. Let's have a look at part E first. Okay, have a think about what you would do um, with this one. Now you know that um, there is a conversion between cubic uh, metres and kilolitres, okay, KLs. We know that we can. All we need to do is replace the m to the power of three with a with, with a k and an l. So this is really five three two zero kiloliters. Okay, two megaliters. So because now it's in liters or a, a or a a unit that involves liters, okay, kiloliters to megaliters, it's, it's um, just. Again, kilo to mega, there's a, a factor of a thousand involved. So we're going to divide that by 1000. Okay. And that will give us 5.32 megaliters. Okay. So fairly straightforward with that one. Okay. So what about 788 cubic kilometers? Okay. So I might just put a, just a line around that, just to section that off. How to do this? We may, in, we may have to use scientific notation with this one because there's quite a few cubic kilometers. Sorry, uh, quite a few cubic meters in uh, a cubic kilometer. So why don't we convert the cubic kilometers perhaps into cubic meters? Because a cubic meter is a kiloliter. Gigaliters, uh, one gigaliter is a thousand megaliters. Okay, so a very, very, another useful unit of measure as well, especially when we're dealing with large amounts of water, for example. Okay, so why don't we convert 788, um, 788 cubic kilometers into cubic meters? How would we do that? Large unit of measure to a small unit of measure. So 788, and we're going to multiply it by 1,000, but that because, it, because there's 1,000 meters in a kilometer, but because we're dealing with um, volume, it'll be a thousand cubed. So, okay, so that's going to be 788 times 1000 to the power of three. And we will get our answer in scientific notation. So that's equal to 7.88 times 10 to the power of 11 cubic meters. Now we know that a cubic meter is equivalent to a kiloliter. Okay, so 7.88 times 10 to the power of 11 kiloliters. Okay. Now we're going to convert that into into megaliters. So let's divide that by a thousand. Okay. So dividing that by a thousand, that just takes three off the index. In fact, you wouldn't even need to use your calculator this time. So that's really the same as 788 times. 10 to the power of 8 megaliters. Okay. And let's divide that again by a thousand to convert that into gigaliters. So dividing that by a thousand again, okay, we end up okay, getting 7.88 times 10 to the power of five gigaliters. Okay. We don't have to write this in scientific notation. That's in fact small enough that we could just express it as a, as a, as a um, normal number um, without using scientific notation. So what would that be? How would we do that? Okay. That means we're going to move the decimal point five times to the right hand side. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so get rid of that, and that would be 
gigalitres there. So it's actually going to be 788,000 gigalitres.